your time. No problem. It's an honor to talk with you. Um, first, uh, what is your vision of the football in, 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 the wor in the world, especially after the World Cup? I think um, considering the time of the World Cup, I thought the, the standard was unbelievable. I thought the World Cup was great, entertaining to watch. And I think it's, I have to take, give a lot of credit to all the players that were involved in it, whether they lost or won. The, the fact that they've come back and switched their mindset straight to um, their domestic teams has is, is been phenomenal for me. Um, 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 what do you think about Mexican football? It's that I don't get to I don't get to see enough of Mexican football to to actually comment on that. But the players that are out there and what I've seen and what I played against for England in the past are, are all technically gifted players. How important is for you to be an ambassador of the Premier League? Um, I wouldn't necessarily say it's important. I would, all, I would almost go as far to say it's a dream for me to be an ambassador for Man City and work alongside with the Premier League. And to still be in the game and still be attached to the club means a lot to me. What do you think of this season in the Premier League? I think it's been a, it's been a tough season for a lot of clubs for multiple reasons. I think, like I said, with the, the World Cup being plonked right in the middle of a, um, a season is something that people were not used to or or not really expecting until it, it was made clear that it was happening but I think in, re, in regards to that I think everybody in the Premier League has, has done really really well especially with the back, backlog of games they've had to catch up on because of that World Cup break that they had in there and the, the standard in the league is still very very high. And what do you expect to watch in the rest of the Champions League? Well, I'm only going to be watching Manchester City go all the way to the finals, I hope. That's the key. But um, no, it's a, it's a tough tournament. I think a lot of the English teams, especially the first legs, none of them won. There was a few draws and obviously a massive loss on some teams' parts. But um, hey, with the, all the English teams are still in it. And if things go their way, can possibly turn it around. Belos, how has been so far your experience? with the trophy tour in Mexico? Well, so this is our first full day, to be honest with you. Um, so we're going to make the most of it with that trophy. And um, we're getting it to an event after we finish what we're doing here. And um, it will get to see a lot of the fans over here. Finally, uh, Sean, what do you think about uh, Raul Jimenez, the, striker, the Mexican striker for Wolverhampton? Yeah, I, th I think Jimenez is a good player. I think he, he he's had it hard, obviously, with that really bad head injury. Um, he's come back and he hasn't had the run of games that he was getting. I feel the Wolverhampton team doesn't play the same way, and I think it's just a matter of adjustment for him. But as a finisher, he's a great striker. It's, it's, it's all okay, no problem, man.